Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me. And thank you for joining me in Poodles Up and Countdown. 24 video projects coming out to you, two a week, all the way through and now and into December. And this is today's. It's autumnal. Actually, it's a Christmas gift because it says here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort and good cheer. It might be country lane paper, but that's okay. I'd like a Christmas present wrapped like that. I think anybody would. So I'm using the autumnal, um, you know, uh, harvest Thanksgiving paper and turning it Christmassy because we're going to make a man's gift because this, the manly page, like it. It's got these lovely stripes. Is that Blackberry Bliss on that one? Do you know what? It is actually. I thought that was the um, early espresso brown. It's not. It's actually Blackberry Bliss. Oh well. Anyway, eight and a half by uh, 12 centimetres. Inches, inches, eight and a half by 12 inches. <sighs> 21 by 30 and a half centimetres. Okay. On the short side, I score it every two inches at two, four, six and eight, which is five, 10, 15 and 20 centimetres. Okay. And then turn it to the long side and score it at two inches. Don't jump it, I've just jumped that. Two inches, I'm gonna make that the, yes, I'll make that the bottom, and 10 inches, which is uh, five and 25 centimeters. Actually, I'm not gonna make that the top because I can fold over that, that's okay, that's good. We can cover that bit. Okay, so fold your score lines. My bone oh, do you know what's practically invisible on my desktop? If you can see it, this is my worktop here, it's all but invisible. That's why I lose it half the time. And then final one, okay. Fold in this one, it's going to be the bottom. This other one, fold it away. And I would have preferred to have turned my paper over, but I jumped the cards. I jumped my stylus and it happened, but that's okay. Right. So just gently reinforce those. Okay, so it's all going to wrap around like that nicely. So if I turn it this way, I'm hoping you can see it better. Oh, yes, you can. So this section here down at the very bottom, it's a little skinny bit. Cut that one away. And then cut straight up these other score lines. Okay, and then up here, we're going to fold this and stick it down. So as my snail. all good it's still sticking in place lovely and then down this little section here where we cut away below I'm going to put a um, my tear and tape so Poodle's Advent Countdown this year I've got I've done this is number two I've got two more on my desk over to one side to film and then 20 more to do because it's 24 in my advent countdown each year 20 more to design often i'm reactive to what we've got in the in the catalogue um sometimes i'm reactive to what's around me i don't actually film too far ahead right i'm folding two sides in and the back i know it's the back because that's where my seam is that's my seam along there and then a bit more tear and tape on here I also react to what's in the shops as well. So if I see chocolates and treats and things like that in the shops, then I react with those and they feature in the Advent Countdown series as well. Um, I'm just grabbing my twine that I forgot to pull out before. Here we go. So this section here, we're going to push in here and grip it. And like other boxes, if you've got something inside, it's going to stop. 
I want it to go all the way down to there. So using your fingers as you go, you will smooth it, not crease it. Okay, right. I have a couple of. Well, I actually want my clothes picks, but I don't know where they are, so I'm going to have to go with that for now. And there's this lovely braided linen trim. Really nice. And it has been, yeah, it's been braided or plaited. Plaited aside now. I wear a plait in my hair quite frequently. Just drape it over one shoulder and, and plait it and off I go for the day. I find tying it up in a knot at the back of my head gives me a headache. So I could have plaited this. I wonder if it's possible to plait the plaited trim. Mm -hmm. It could well be. Okay, so I can take that off now. And then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Where's my stamp set? So I've loved this. I have coloured it with my watercolour pencils. You know, I've stamped and coloured and made cards. Um, and I just think it's really lovely. <coughs> oh, I didn't use the stamp set. Here's to a season filmed with warmth, comfort and good cheer. Which I didn't use this one. Oh, okay. Anybody know which stamp set I used? No idea. <laughs> Oh, that one. I used Frosted Floral. No, I don't want to use that one. I'm going to use this one. You're the happy to my day. I got it out. I'm going to use it now. She says stamping her feet. I got it and I'm going to use it. Goodness me. It hurts, doesn't it? Dippy demo alert. Okay. Right. Oh, I've got two bits of wisp white. I only wanted the one. So what colour shall I go? Well, that's Blackberry Bliss. This is Early Espresso. Shall I go Early Espresso? I might as well. I think I will. <laughs> Not my day. Somebody be the happy to my day, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let's hope that this one fits. Oh, thank goodness for that. It does. So I'm going to position this down a little bit towards the bottom. I'm going to grab my sponge. Open that back up again. I don't, um, I don't do an awful lot of sponging these days. I used to do loads. Um, so this one, you're just going to think I'm absolutely brutal or a spendthrift or what, I don't know, but when it gets really dirty, I cut it off and then it sits back up on my shelf. Is that really bad? I don't know. It's It was a whole space, oh, I've got three there, I only want two. It was a bit of a space issue. I don't have space anymore. Um, well, I do, but because I don't do a lot of sponging, I don't really need to have loads of them on the go anymore. So, um, yeah, I just have one and chop bits off. I think the last time I sponged was when I made the sample and that was three weeks ago. Okay, up on the top, such a simple box. Do you know what? I do think my husband would appreciate. Um, I'm gonna put some twine on that, change my mind. Um, he would appreciate what I've made because he's like that and he's married to a crafter and he knows that this is what I do for a living um, but actually I think he could probably live without heavy decoration I think so um, so I'm going front to back because although I tied um, a bow on the front of the original one I actually just want to get a knot on this one just finishes it off a little better. What did I do with those glue dots now? There they are. Actually, I don't even think that was the original roll. Oh, it's that kind of a day. Ah, oh, that's better. 
these buttons I'm okay with. You know my, about my phobia with buttons. These are I'm okay with. No issue with that. So yeah, it's an advent countdown project. It's Christmas. Could be all sorts. You have to give me that one. Wait till you see what's coming next week. Oh, exciting. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.